<sighs> Don't I fall asleep? <sighs> God. What the fuck is that? What? That's just not right. What the fuck is this? This is a fucking nightmare. Fuck. Get this shit out of here. Fucking hell. Come the fuck off. Great. Now I can't sleep. So it's 2018 and the childhood of the internet has obviously ended. It's gotten old and strange, like a traumatized army veteran haunted by the atrocities he's committed. What's happening, sir? Over the years, things have grown in its shadows. <sighs> Let's get back to it. So, to say nowadays that the internet is just images of cats and porn is not only staler than 9-gag humor, it's just flat out wrong. I am the glob glow gum gallop, the shwabble double wobble gumble flipper blah blah blah. Scars have accumulated. It's become a certified landfill of horrors and monstrosities. It's full of images like this that seem to come from a parallel reality aborted by God. And for a while now, people online, if we're honest, probably mostly little children, have started to broadly refer to them as cursed images. It sounds silly, and yes, it's easy to look at something like this, chuckle in amusement or disgust, and move on to not acknowledge the pain. But sometimes you shouldn't look away. Sometimes you must gaze into the fiery demonic asshole of Satan himself to find the truth. In this spirit, we're now going to look at a select few of these cursed images, and we'll try to unlock their deeper meaning. Most of them are just incomprehensible garbage anyway, but some are mirrors. Black mirrors, if I may say so, of our very soul. Let's begin. Okay, let's ease into this with something fairly harmless. Looking at this, it's really hard to tell if this is a demented pedophile sex dungeon or a catastrophically failed attempt at creating a cute kindergarten toilet. Such conflicting vibes are really an indicator of good design, you know? I mean, l let me show you. This is what a normal toilet looks like, okay? So yeah, pissing into the mouths of cartoon children definitely cursed, but it lacks depth. Let's move on. Keeping with the maybe unfortunate child theme established in the first image, let's have a look at this. This is still very straightforward, it's not difficult to analyze at all. Here it's not the image that's cursed, but the baby. Obviously demonic forces have gathered in its homunculus body to resist divine purification. This so-called baby cannot be saved. In fact, in all probability it's not a baby, but an agent of evil. Put it in an oven, and never speak of it again. Forget 1984. Forget The Matrix. This is the real dystopia. This is what the future is going to look like. This is what self-driving cars and space exploration will lead to. Boredom. Unspeakable boredom. And if you think even deeper about it, it's images like this that make you question reality. How do you know that this is not already happening? How do you know you're real? Maybe you never existed. Maybe you're the VR dream of some sweaty old Russian person waiting in the doctor's office for their hemorrhoids to be examined. Okay, make yourself comfortable, and then we require you to spread your illness. But ignorance is bliss, and if you're a hologram or a cyborg, maybe it's better not to know. We're diving deeper into the shit now. I call this one, The Maiden and Death. Here it's unclear whether this filthy Rasputin looking dude represents a loving father figure to this child or whether he's the antagonist. So we'll never know if this is innocent fun or if he's trying to discus throw her to the other side of the street or attempting to centrifuge her brains out. In any event, it doesn't look safe. After looking at this severely cursed image, it's in your best interest to light a memorial candle for all the forgotten children and play the Dora the Explorer theme song for half an hour. Huh? Did you hear that? Maybe 
Maybe just a restless spirit. Now, just a quick word. I consider myself to be a connoisseur of these weird internet artifacts. I like them, but even so, I have to admit that studying them after a while becomes like a fetish. You need increasing levels of true retardation to feel anything, to get a kick out of it. So if you value your intelligence and good taste, you might not want to venture past this point. This might look fairly innocent at first, but it's one of the most hellish images I've ever seen. See the fat laughing lady and the grinning boy. What is their relation? Is she his grandmother? Are they a couple? Is she the bride of Satan and the little man some minor minion? Whatever the truth may be, there is an obvious corruption in their faces. Looking at this image taints the soul. You have to apply a very powerful blood rune to protect yourself from its effects. Oh, whatever, fuck this shit. Oh, we, we have to skip this one. But just so you know, this man is the most powerful being in existence. His mind contains the entire universe. That's why he has to seclude himself from the rest of humanity like that to protect us. But if you, if you look at this image too long, you will become him. I humbly toast to his sacrifice. What? What? What is this noise? God damn it. I'm fucking going mad here. There are many gods. They rise and they fall in perpetuity. Here, we witness the ascent of a new one. Minds that once were primitive and silent have become conscious. Blood cults have sprung up around this fearsome new idol. If you want to live, honor our new filthy overlords. Who's a good rat boy? Mm, who's a good rat boy? Finally, this is one of the strangest and worst images I've ever laid eyes on. I have to admit that my analytical powers fail me here. I just don't know what to say. I mean, where to begin? These fancy society people wandering into some kind of dilapidated barn? The bald fucking monster hovering above them, drinking, smoking, wearing a shiny high-heeled lady's shoe, the yellow plush entity on his side. There is some fucked up lore to this image, but... I'm not even willing to explore it. I'll just sacrifice a strand of hair to ward off this bald troglodyte freak. Lord of darkness, take my hair. What the fuck was that? I definitely heard something this time. Come on. Don't do this. Who's there? Oh god, the lights went up. What?